Oh. We have to get her back. Even though this game is getting a lot more dangerous. As it should. There's a lot more at stake than either of us realize. And if anything like that can happen to anyone, if Cross looks over at Rose, we should all keep an eye on everybody. I walk I'll over to Cross. Keep an eye on the pack and those who serve the pack. I, wa I walk over to Cross, like, uh, as I give him the, the same similar look I had in my eyes during the conversation in the hut. I was like, I know that. I know I'm the last person to say this right now, but we all need to watch each other's backs. Yes, you are the last one to say that. And any petty remarks, we might want to get them out of our systems now, considering how serious this is. You want to get something out of the way? Fine. Rose dismounts Shiloh, and walks up to Cross with her arm outstretched. Sylvia. Hmm? Give me Sylvia. Oh, oh the, the Cross your arrow. Your black arrow cross. Give her to me. He slowly takes out the black arrow. Oh, thank you. Her. That was on Amber. Oh, okay. She was fatigued, I know, but there was another spell cast on her that removed strength. Yeah. And I don't know if heal removes any of that. No, it doesn't look damage. like. No, you need to, I think, restores the. A restoration spell. Oh. Like, well, it says it ability damage. Ability damage. Yeah. Yeah, ability damage. Oh. Okay, never, never mind, mind, you're good. Okay. Yeah. So does DM, yeah. DM, does that cure all strength damage, constitution damage, yes. everything else like that? Minor restoration? Well, it's heal that I cast. And on heal it says cured of ability damage. Yes. Okay. So she's back up to full strength. Yeah, right. Back to 21. Excellent. Right. Now, has Cross, have you handed me the black arrow? He looks at her for a moment. This arrow is a symbol for what I used to be. Everything beforehand, all the darkness, all the things that I've done, it symbolizes that. He hands it to her, and you can have it for all I care. Oh, you're not getting away that easy. I wasn't trying to. I warp it. Oh? And I hand it back to him, pressing it against his chest, and I say, now it's just like the Black Arrow. Warped and useless. But you will carry it with you as a constant reminder of all the gifts you've been given that you've never appreciated. I hand it back to him. Oh, also Rose at 36 health. Oh, right, got it. Actually, suggestion cross. Uh, make sure you're not firing that arrow. Le leave a little not le leave a little notch in it to. No, you... it's warped. It's it's before. It's, warped. it's, it's useless. useless. He cannot uh, use it. Okay. He can no longer use that arrow unless I determine that he you takes are the arrow and snaps it in half. Oh. <laughs> and drops both pieces to the ground. Now it does symbolize me broken. And that's what you want? He looks her right in the eyes. I know what it is you want. And you want me to suffer for all of this. I've been suffering for long enough. A little longer won't hurt me. And that's the kind of respect you have for the gift he gave you. Had you deemed yourself worthy, I could have undone the spell. No, you don't understand. I am not worthy. I'm not worthy to wield this bow. I'm not worthy to ever use that arrow again. Not worthy of anything right now. But regardless of that, I am still going to be here. I am still going to fight. I am still going to do what I know how to do best, and that's protect the people that I care about. Ha! You've never protected us. Do You've only protected your own interests. That's not true. When has he protected us? That hasn't served his own needs. I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be here right now if he hadn't saved my life years ago. Years ago. Uh, there it is again. The past coming up to define the present and destroy the future. He's protected our lives multiple times since then. Since we've all been together. 
for Rose, his own Rose, sake. Did, were you not paying attention with uh, with the fight where I suggested he use his we- use his weapon he to help us out? Again. You, I pick up the shards and I throw them back at Cross. You will remember Solonar. If there's anything you'll take from the past, you'll remember him. I snarl in agreement. See, uh, see an interesting character walk in. Oh, this ought to be fun. Which guy? Hmm? Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. And oh. Uh, one second. And, and her oh. too. Lannis. All right. Yet, yet the middle character walks in. It's like, dude, I feel a lot of negative energy here. Oh Come God, on. no. Uh, um, um, who the heck is that? Do, do I rec? Does that? Do I do, recognize do, him? Do I recognize him? No, is probably no the one re- question. No one does. Uh, Rose rec- Rose recognizes him as someone who is harmless but strange and okay. powerful but slightly inept. Merlin, got it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey guys, um, uh, half an hour to an hour. A, I, was in, I was informed by the Drow that um, there was a Rakshasa here, and yeah, since I'm the only one that knows how to how to how to deal with those things, I was told to come help. But um, you guys seem to have. He looks over. Uh, you guys seem to have done well for yourselves. But, uh, this is our Rakshas uh, we are dealing with, and they are not groovy things, let me tell you. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to ask you all to line up in a line so I can check y'all for, for in case any of you are disguised as a Rakshasa, or in case you're gonna just check your guy, gonna check your guys' chakras, so I can Ooh. see who you are, how you feeling. Oh. Josh, uh, um, next time you come to Northern California, we're gonna have to take a trip to where the hippies hang out and have you listen to how they speak. Is he trying to go for hippie, or, <laughs> or <laughs> buy you? What I don't know! Going for? It's a mix of both. It's a both! It's a Bayou Hippie. It feels like, it it feels like Bayou Hippie. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you all line up. All right, I, all right. I stop it. This, fan- this, awesome. hey, this, hey, this is a fantasy. This is a fantasy place. I reserve the right to take artistic liberties. All right. <laughs> all right. I say, hold on, hold on a second. I talk over to Jimmy. He's like, do you, should we tell them? Well, I, I know, I know, yeah, what I'm yeah, but. Mm. Uh, Jiminya, Jiminya shrugs. We had. We'll, 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 we'll just we'll just go and see what happens. Fears Thurin helps her mother up, and th- does she need to line up too? Yeah, everybody does. Everybody. So she helps her mother over to where everyone else is standing. And you're uh, really vibing. Yep. Also, I dismissed uh, the Johnny. Okay. All right, let's get this started. Mm. You, okay, so he, he walks into Ivan first. Mm. I take the chakra of neutral good. All right. I think I need to cast a spell on you. Cool. Walks up to Jaminia. All right. I detect chakra of lawful good. Okay. Uh, stick in the mud. I can. I can deal with that. I guess. <laughs> Don't need to cast a spell on you. I'm specifically looking for you know the evil type. So, okay. All right, you, uh, 
Chaotic good. All right, that's that's fair, I guess. Rogues usually are. All right, you. Ooh, you're a little bit on the line there. I'm not entirely sure what's going on with you, but yeah, yours is at a bit of a crossroads. But I'm bump, but I'm See it. <laughs> <laughs> No. All right. Sorry. Moves over to moves over to Rose. Mm, neutral. Good. All right. That makes sense. Moves over to Yulissa. All right. Uh, that is lawful good. Okay. Moves over to Faith Thurin. All right. Uh, lawful good. Okay. What? Lawful good. Moves up, that moves up, moves over to. Like, oh, sorry, short stack. I didn't see you over there. Okay. The one second. <laughs> sorry, you're not, sorry, y'all short. I had some some really great plants the other day, and everything's just just so great. Oh right my now. gosh, Josh, you're killing me. <laughs> Anywho, he holds his hand up to he holds his hand up to Owen. Uh, Chaotic neutral. Okay. Okay, the, I don't think there's any rakshas over here. I, I, I think we can I think we can all leave. They they took um, care of it. Uh, uh, sir, uh, sir uh, I think you've missed one. What? Oh, that's not a that's not that's not a real that's not that's not an animal. Oh. Excuse me? Whoa whoa whoa. Oh, oh, no. No. Oh, it talks. I must be further, further gone than I thought. <sighs> These are my people. Alright, okay. Uh, I growl. Okay, let's see. Uh, You're gonna get eaten alive in the comments on this, Josh. That's, uh... Oh, uh, awful good. Alright, I'm gonna... I gotta go. It's, it's like, you know, the life of a... Something is. Oh. Uh, the, the, the princess says. Uh, the princess says, "Look at him. It's like don't keep him around for his brains." I stomp away. I stand right. next to Stargazer. Uh, I look. I look over. I look over to Faye. Uh, what? What is? She, what is she? What's her feeling right now? She just has a stunned, blank look on her face. Uh, I go he over. Lawful. He said lawful good. You know what this means, right? <laughs> Rose is looking at Rin, terrified. She just she jumps on Jalrim in a giant hug. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <sighs> uh, I'm gonna have to ask you to roll uh, uh, unfor yeah, unfor Unfortunately, both of you, both of you slip on the ground. Oh, ooh. oh, oh! Uh, <laughs> must repress shipping. Oh, um, <laughs> this is not <awkward. laughs> It hurts. Yeah. Okay. This is going to be very unfay like spontaneity, but she gives him a big kiss. Woo! Woo! Oh. <laughs> character oh. ship it. Oh. <laughs> I think it's been officially yeah, shipped. I was, like, I was like, oh. Um. Okay. <laughs> okay. Rose it, means, it means I can do it! I can do it! I, I know, I, I know, I know. I, I um. Right, Minya gives, gives a, gives us, Minya gives a small smile, but then looks so. Yeah, we're kind of missing a, a key component. You cut out there, Josh, uh, or at least yeah. for me. Uh, Jaminia looks yeah. over to Owen and says, yeah, "Neutral." Yes. <laughs> Sorry. And she she looks at him and says, I'm sorry, that's just frankly not what I expected. Actually, I feel like it explains a lot. 
Just what did you expect from me, might I ask? Well, you you've been here you've been taking you've been taking care of a lot of us for most of the for, for most of our entire journey, so I didn't expect someone that's usually an alignment for you know, tricksters and mischief makers. You just don't really fit that bill. I suppose you see me as this kindly father figure taking care of the group? Is that it? Kindly is give it's or take. Objective. <laughs> I have to rub my ear. <laughs> I thought I had made it, uh, I thought I had made it abundantly clear that uh, I've been pointing out when each of you do stupid things and then I heal you after you do your stupid things. That to me is to me is looking a little bashful. I'm sorry. That was a bit presumptuous on my part. I do think we need to. Dad, everybody, what happened? Is everybody okay? I tried to come back as fast as I could, but they wouldn't let me in. What's going on? Is everyone okay? Everyone's everyone's all right, son. Don't worry. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what? I'll tell you about it later. Right now, we have to, um, we have something we need to deal with first. Oh, did um we we found my mother, Rayan. Don't worry. Good. Oh, oh, good. Okay. Um. Don't do that. Hi, Faze, Mom. I'm glad you're safe. But oh. Uh, wait, is that... Oh, Faye, I'm so sorry. Son. It, it, it's fine. It had to be done. But it's still... It's fine, Rayan. Okay. Rayan goes over and hugs Faye. Careful. <laughs> Faye just kind of gives him a half hug, but she's looking at the other two people across the river. Oh, Cross gives him a full, like, he kneels down and gives him a full on hug. Um, I say over to Faye and do, uh, do you recognize those two people? Yes. Yes, I do. Who are they? <sighs> Uncle Arthur. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Corwell? It's uh, yet you see it. You see Corwell just uh, just staying silent. But Urthor, he actually he act he actually get he actually gives you a small bow and then opens his arms. She pauses a moment, but then gives him a hug. <laughs> I'm so glad you're okay. Hey, it's <laughs> we we weren't the we weren't the only we weren't the only ones that were asked to be protected. It's uh, General Erdusk had the foresight to. Realize that maybe if they couldn't get to if he couldn't get to your mother, he'd probably get to one of us too. <sighs> Gotta give credit to that person. He's very, very intelligent. Yes. I mean that I mean they could have given us some better accommodations rather than a cave, but hey, if when you're on the run, beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> yes. <sighs> I'm, yeah, you see, you see the prince. You see the princess behind, behind Scott. Is like, <sighs> well, at least you two are okay. Um, can someone, can someone bring Father's body over here? I'll do I it. I thought you were using floating disc. Yeah, you were. Oh. Oh, you were. Never mind. I, I never cast that. Whatever. Let's I, I, I said, Doc I said it in the narration. Oh. Yeah. Okay, then I just bring his body over and <coughs> I show I show his remains to <coughs> Earthor and Corwell. Earthor just looks at it with a raised eyebrow and Corwell just kind of doesn't look at it. 
despite what he chose to become, he's still a Sylvanesti. We should give him a proper burial. You see it, you see Earthor get get just give like a very deep breath. <sighs> well I wish I'd say he'd do the same for us, but I'm not a liar. I know. Come on. Let's go pop let's go find something. <laughs> should, we, uh, should we uh Faye, should we follow? Um should we? I don't know. I'm asking. You probably you should. Well, we I could think, definitely help. I, I think he's asking for cultural uh, well, sensitivity. Is it improper for non Sylvanesti to be involved? It. It's a, it's a. It's a. It well with for an for an Elven funeral. It's a, if you're aware of the person. If you're aware of the person's life, then yes, you you should be you should be there. Mm-hmm. All, right. All right then. And so, and so hey, as, as as this person, them, so yes, as this person has affected all of you, <coughs> positively or negatively. Yes, mm-hmm. you all tech, you all technically can come. Well, this all Faye, right, then. Faye looks back at your listen, Jalarum, kind of sadly. Well, I, I like to hear this. I like. It's that yeah. it's that Earthor walks over to Celeste and says, "Is there any place we can bury him?" It's a Celeste uh, points off it points off in this direction across the river. It's a there's a put the, the there's a lake uh, there's a lake over there. It's, you can have your ceremony there. However, I do have a I do have the announcement. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Yes. Uh, the Fae have a. I said I don't remember if I said this before, but the Fae have agreed to appear at this battle. But they also wished for you to make blueberry soup when you need to call them. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's it's, simple it's, enough. It's, 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 um, it's, it, she she waves her hand and says, "It's the Fae. Don't question that." Yep. Yeah. Yes, I know. Just be grateful the demands aren't higher. Yes. Hmm. We can do that. Yeah, yeah, Celeste looks towards Rose and she says, Yes, you'd know all about that, wouldn't you? Always a pleasure. Yeah, Celeste leaves. I, I sent some bad blood. I give, I give a fair throne gives a questioning look to Rose. I don't know about bad, but it sure ain't good. Well, we'll talk. Uh, Jaminia says we'll talk about that later. I think we have some business to attend to. Mm-hmm. Uh, of course. Um, uh, ups- Wait, where's Simula? Where's Princess Simula? We- That's our. We- what well, I'm, th- I'm thinking is our task. We have. It's. A- She'll be all right. Oh. Okay. Hopefully. Um. Come. Uh. Come on. I'll show you to the lake. I know where it is. All right. What she meant. The way, son. All right. You're heading over to the lake. Mm-hmm. Yup. <coughs> all right. Give me one second to move you all over. All. Oh. It is cold in this room. (laughs) All right. Oh, I changed again. Cool. (laughs) (laughs) Oops. (laughs) Sweet. Oh. Oh. Yeah, with Amber and her two forms and <laughs> complicating things. There we go. Double ray in. Oh, double ray in. Double rainbows. We don't rainbows. have the insulin for it. Yeah, you know, I can scooch down a little bit. Oh, where's my guy? There he is. All right. So. 
you construct a set you can construct a small raft using dead branches of uh, trees that have fallen and you place it and you place them on the raft you did so many horrible things in your life but but you were still my father and I wouldn't be here if it weren't for you so I don't really know what else to say there's still part of me that wants to hate you but I just feel sad knowing that I wasn't able to save you to give you a chance to see the world the way I've learned how to I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I had to let you die like this. And this might sound unbelievable, but I love you, Father. Goodbye. Alright. So you push it. So you put you push him for you push him forward on the raft. Earthor says Earthor says Earthor says a few words, raises his hand, and that and the raft catches fire. Oh, well, kind of like a Viking funeral. All of a sudden, Faithurin. Feel a tingling sensation, and you can't really find your bearings. Huh? Uh oh. <clears throat> when you open your eyes. Oh. 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 Huh? You I see don't the know. Out the blade, but things are different. It's somehow brighter, yet subdued. The trees look different. And pink light shimmers through the through the crowns of the trees for a flood of mushrooms to claim the thick layer of leads below. Coiling creepers suspended from a couple of trees on potpourri of flowers which occupy quiet corners. In the middle of the lake, you see a strange figure surrounded by fairies. Okay, out of character, this music gets my heart. <laughs> okay, back in character. <clears throat> It's called Twilight like Princess. Oh, about time, man. <laughs> Alright, everybody shush. Uh, you, yes. You are It's like uh, you see you see this person you see this person's attention turn away from the fairies. It's like Hello, Fairy. I hope I am not intruding. Fair Thorn drops to her, no, kind of drops to her knees in shock. <laughs> you see Ren. him step off. So you see him step off, gingerly step off the rock, and tiptoe across the water towards you. And he holds out, and he holds out his hand. Faye, Faye's hand is shaking, but she places her hand in his. He's pulling you towards the center of the lake. Huh? Okay. She follows him. I, ma I imagine you have a lot of questions, but I, ma I am going to answer most of them the best I can. I've seen you before, haven't I? Yes, I take on many forms. Some of the, some of them I used to keep tabs on the on the elven people. But others, you know, sometimes I just try to, you know, just try and talk to people. Oh, I didn't see that one coming. Good one, Josh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Almost falls over. 
<laughs> but as to where you are right now, you are now in the Feywild. Uh, roll a Knowledge the Plains. Hold on a moment. I got this. I got to... <laughs> Knowledge plane. I almost wrote knowledge nobility. That would have been stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Not. Oh, that's a very good tip. That is very good. Yeah. Okay, so, you know that the Feywild is an echo of the material plane, like the plane of shadow. But whereas the plane of shadow is the darkness, the Feywild is the light. It was from here that the Fey originated, giving the Feywild its name. And it was also a place of unusually potent magic. And you also know that the Feywild is the source of elven and Fey culture. I... I... Well, why have I been brought here? Well... There are, you are confused about the state of your heart. I feel that this is a good time to help some things make sense. And do not worry, your friends are not aware that you have vanished. One, when you are in a different plane, time moves differently relative to the others, depending on the ruler. That being me. And I say we need to have a chat. <sighs> oh, yes. Blair, that for heaven's sake. So, yes, and uh, before you say anything, I'm... That book you have lists me as the ru as one of the rulers of Arborea. It's a that book is a fair bit outdated. Hmm. Huh? The Outer Plains for Dunderheads. Uh. Uh, yes, I. It was correct that I used to have around there, but since then I gave the honor of ruling it to someone else. Now I am here in the Feywild. I see. There's so many things I should be asking, but I can't... I... It's not often my words fail me. Oh, don't worry. This, this conversation isn't for you to ask me questions. It's for me to ask you questions. First question. This is more of a personal question, but I kind of want to get an answer. I'm rather surprised you chose someone like me to worship. I always figured you'd go for someone like Bokob. You know, powerful in magic, highly intelligent, isolated and standoffish. Seems more your type. I... I don't express it often, but I've always had a love for... You know, for beautiful things. I... It might be... It might just be something that I picked up from being surrounded by all the exotic things that father liked to collect to showcase his power or i don't know something as simple as a pretty flower it's like Cor corellin smiles ah i see you understand that honestly i thought you i thought your explanation was to be that you wouldn't be able to get along with someone like yourself <laughs> Well, there's that too. <laughs> <laughs> but you asked me why I worship you. Hmm. Not why I did not worship someone else. Crown shrugs. Fair point. But yes. To, now for the more serious questions uh, concerning the state of your soul. The gods can see many things including the state of a mortal soul from a mere glance. To wit, we see the souls of mortals on a spectrum. While there is nuance, the basics are of law and chaos and good and evil. Depending on the actions of a mortal, these states can actually shift. The mortal can be conscious of changes, but most of the time, like in your case, they are not. You were determined as lawful good, when, towards the start of this quest, you were true neutral. 
I came to help you understand why this happened, and I'm going to ask you a few questions regarding it, and please be honest about these. First, regarding your shift from neutral to lawful. This quest, what do you plan to do after it's done? There is no authority over you anymore. You will be as free as a bird. You have the choice to do whatever you want. What are you going to do? I want to serve Queen Jaminia. Hmm. That sounds like submission to authority, following a set of rules, and trusting your well-being to a higher power who dictates how you should live. You are fine with this, exchanging one overbearing figure for another overbearing figure. Jaminia is nothing like Imer. Absolutely nothing. And the fact that that even entered my mind at all is, is a disgrace I will have to carry until the day that I die. You seem to think highly of her. Why do you follow this tiefling queen? I have from notes here that you have described her as... Yes, uh, impulsive and stubborn. In fact, towards the start of this little adventure, you personally found her unfit to be on a throne. What changed? I saw the sort of person she is. And it was wrong of me to judge her so harshly so quickly. It's because of Jemina that I've learned that I can't evaluate someone based on knowing them just for a few for a few hours or even a few days there's always so much more and i think that i think that i like to learn more i've always liked learning now it's just people that i'm learning from hmm very interesting well i believe that clears up the neutral to lawful shift now for, now for your, for your shift from neutral to good. On the subject of the Tiefling Queen, why do you want to save her? Your fate is not beholden to hers. For a while, she accepted her post-mortem destination. In fact, she seems to care about her own fate less than the fate of that of her evil sister. Why don't you? Why bother with the headache and turmoil of the state of your heart when she didn't seem to care? She is a hero in every sense of the word. She deserves so much more than what her bloodline has cursed her with. Hmm. To writing that down. Second question. Why did you want to save your father? An earlier Faithor would not have hesitated to put down such a danger. But something happened. What was it? An earlier fair thorn wouldn't have deserved to be saved herself. But I've learned how to see the world differently. I had to take a long, hard journey to do so. And I thought maybe, maybe I could give my father the chance to do the same. To not have to feel so much anger and hatred at, at the world. To be able to see the beautiful things in it as well. Hmm. See, notice that you feel compelled to save people. You are seeing the well-being of yourself as less important than someone else. And you are making a great sacrifice to make sure that they get something that doesn't benefit you in any way. We in the god business call that selflessness. Now we can split hairs about the nuances of your actions, but there's a big factor in this that makes your alignment that much more assured. You're trying, trying to purify your heart. Truly, there is no one who is honestly righteous, and to expect that of a mortal is stupidity most egregious. While many of us do appreciate acts of great goodness, we care more about the state of the heart. You know that Jaminia's situation is an injustice, and you feel the need to correct it. So, you made an inward resolution to change your life to this ideal. Sure, you've made mistakes, but 
The gods tend to focus on the here and now, for the past is unchangeable, and the future is indeterminable, and the present is the thing most like eternity. Fair Thorn, she doesn't say a word, but tears just kind of start falling from her eyes and she smiles. Corella walks up and gives her a hug. Know that I'm very proud of how you turned out. I, I was beginning to think you're a lost cause, but I never gave up on you. <laughs> I'm, I can't describe how grateful I am. And no. even if I have gotten this far, I'm never going to stop trying. The gifts that these people have given me, the way that they have changed my life and changed me, I want to, I want to be able to give that to other people as well. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Oh, and uh, speaking of gifts, I'm pretty sure you're wondering when you will receive yours, since almost everyone else seemed to get one except for you. Oh, I, I had forgotten start. all about that. He, se he steps backward, and all of a sudden, the place begins to fade out. Uh, who, do you, who do you think wrote those books that you have? Ta-ta! Huh? 